Hello, geniuses. This is Christina Bruhom with Coin Genius, and today I am joined by Jean Q. Dar. And Jean Q. reached out to Coin Genius about the upcoming Collective Intelligence uh, event, and I was super impressed with his background and everything that he's trying to do for the blockchain community. So, Jean Q., would you like to introduce yourself and say a little bit about what you're looking to accomplish in your next 30, 60, 90, and how you think Coin Genius might be able to help you? Sure. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, my name is Jean Q. I am located in Malibu, California. Um, so my entry into the blockchain industry is just very straightforward. Um, I've been prosecuting intellectual property applications, patents, trademarks, copyrights for the past uh, 16 years of my life. And when I heard of the blockchain technology coming forward and and I heard about it through um, CIS, through a, a convention that they were having here in LA. Went to it, I met Alon Gorin. Um, at that time it was just Gorin and Home, and now it's Draper Gorin and Home. And I got fascinated with the technology because I was like, this is exactly what the intellectual property industry needs, like ASAP. Because um, one of the things in the IP industry is this, Anytime you register a license of any kind for it to actually get into the hand of the owner, there are probably two to three, sometimes hundreds of middlemen involved. And then with that, it the owners don't have the ability to really understand where the license has been, what's happening with the license, to track where the license has been registered, what territories it's located in. And more often than not, the owner is the one that loses the ability to get their royalties, right? Because that's one of the reasons why people have IPs registered. So that's when I was like, okay, let me find out more about the blockchain industry. Um, and then from there, you know, one of our biggest um, group of people that comes into our office seeking IP help are people in the media and entertainment space. They are the largest because, you know, in the media and entertainment space, the, you know, you have a piece of content, you register the content and then you license it out, right? And then the people that get screwed at the end of, you know, the, the deals within the industry are typically the creatives because there are so many middlemen involved. Um, one key person is Darth Vader, as we all know. So even since the 1960s and 70s and 80s, he's still trying to track his royalties. So the blockchain platform is this amazing solution for anyone that wants to be able to track their licenses, to see it be um, not manipulated at all, to find out who's attached to it, to be notified when someone gets attached to your license. And you can also track and know where that um, license is located around the world. So that's why I'm excited to be pushing forward our venture, which is called Artis Pro. And what we're doing through Artis Pro is we're connecting all of the media market networks in the world on the blockchain so that individuals, creatives, executives, agents, and managers, they can simply track their rights. Jean Q, this is amazing. I don't know if you can see how much I am grinning ear to ear right now. This is a perfect use case for blockchain. I am thrilled to invite you into the Coin Genius Collective Intelligence Event Summit, which is happening this Thursday and Friday, uh, the 25th and 26th. So to tell you a little bit about the event, um, we are we're it's like go big or go home and we're going to do this every quarter uh so that wall street and everyone else can rebalance their portfolio every quarter because as we know everything is completely decoupled and the market analysts are going well those models from the last 30 years don't work anymore so what are we going to do now so our team of data scientists is like cooking up some really cool stuff at coin genius and we're going to debut it i'm really excited to show it off um so for all those folks that have been waiting to see our analytics here you go, this is it. This is gonna be like round one and we're gonna do this every quarter and show you guys how the industry is progressing. And beyond Coin Genius, we've met so many of the brightest minds in all of bleeding edge tech. So everything from blockchain to AI, to IOT, to space economy, um, to like just understanding how connected we are globally and that with a digital click of a button, you can find what you're looking for. And what we do is we take everything and we bubble it up into real time metrics. And that 
means a lot of data, but we don't deal with data. We double it up to information, right? You want you want to know what's actionable out of that data. Um, so anyway, that's kind of like our, our heart and soul. And then it kind of evolved into this. Well, in order for people to understand what our data is all about, you have to understand what the crypto industry is. You have to understand what blockchain is. You have to understand what the regulations are. You have to understand really what the fabric of the global economic engine is and how that relates to everything. You have to understand China and UK and Japan and of course the United States and that we're all connected and you have to understand what's happening in other countries that are coming up and just leapfrogging over us in uh, you know, in, in not only in technology and infrastructure, but just in ideas and concepts and openness to change. And I see this Darwinian evolution happening and it just makes me so excited that folks are getting involved in other sectors. So we, we kind of started out in like crypto and blockchain. And now like you, we're in media and blockchain, entertainment and blockchain, renewable energy and blockchain. Um, there's some cannabis and blockchain stuff that's way later down the line. Da interesting data fields, interesting, interesting data fields. We're all about the data science behind it. So I'm very excited to uh, see how you might like to participate. Um, as you know, we have sponsors, we have uh, a pitch spot left. I know that my uh, CEO, Jeremy Bourne, um, has like we're just like we're getting the absolute avalanche back, which is great because I always give the avalanche. Anyone in the industry knows the Christina avalanche. They're like, okay, here it comes. <laughs> so I'm thrilled for you to participate. I can't wait to use this as a. I love use cases. I'm a I'm a technology project manager at Heart Operations. You know, kind of COO hat. Um, so seeing it all kind of come together and be braided together and see how much the community gets excited about these conversations. Let me show you just really quick um, the lineup that we have for the event. It's absolutely out of control. So if you go to our website, uh, coingenius.ai, I'm just gonna share my screen really quick because it's just awesome and I'm so proud of the team and a giant shout out to Team Genius who's been working their tails off for weeks to get this ready for everybody. Um, so this is our, can you guys see my screen? Yep. Awesome. Okay, so this is our collective intelligence page. This is at coingenius.ai and you go up here to events. There is a bunch of other things here. And for anyone listening, um, if you want our analytics page, it is coingenius.pro. Uh, that's where you can get a sneak peek of the version 2.1. We will be unveiling version 2.5 at, um, at the event. Um, so day one is going to be panels from some of the biggest names and uh, these web pages will be updated. You're gonna see real time updates pretty much from here until the conference. Um, so our panels start out with a keynote from Meltem Dumoir, who is the CSO Chief Strategy Officer at CoinShares, which we're super excited. We have a bunch of folks from Wall Street and industry experts, market analysts, people who really understand the fundamentals of the technology behind all of this and how it impacts against like the regulation fabric. And then in between at the lunch hour break from 12 to one, we have the very first Coin Genius G Tank live pitch competition. And G Tank is basically Shark Tank for blockchain. Um, we actually went to Shark Tank and it was hard to get folks to understand what blockchain was. And we've decided that we're just gonna help from an analytics standpoint, break it down for the investors and give everyone kind of like a baseline of what this industry is. And then you can kind of evaluate it as like for like, or as much as like for like, as you can get. Um, you can see our uh, history a bit is like tip of the iceberg of some of our past events. Uh, these are our current speakers. I have to be super honest, I'm still waiting to hear back from Don Tapscott and Brittany Kaiser, but I love you guys so much. So really excited for you guys to participate if you can. Everyone else is super confirmed and pumped and excited to be here. And we just have a, an amazing lineup and we're about to have a lot more on our website. Um, you'll see our sponsors. Let me give a giant shout out to Job Paradise and Cryptomatic ATM. Love to give a shout out to On Yavin and Quintelligence and Josh Lawler from Zuber Lawler and Del Duca, um, or Lawler, as I like to call him. He'll hear me uh, saying that like down the halls of conferences when we used to meet in person. Um, but this is our agenda. So we're doing our best to take it virtual and kind of um, keep the community together. Um, like I said, we're gonna start with our keynote. Technically, we're gonna start with the Coin Genius um, announcement at 8.45 a.m., but then we're gonna jump right into the agenda there 
And um, this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what we're tackling. And we've got some amazing folks, um, panelists, and just everything's bonkers. Um, it's it's super exciting, and things are changing minute by minute, um, getting more and more confirmation. So you guys will see that on the website. And then our VIP networking party, which starts at seven, um, that's going to be two hours of networking, and then. I am actually going to be singing and we're going to do a little bit of, uh, of uh, you know, a little bit of um, entertainment. So my bandmate, Mark Van Walos, is going to come down and you're going to see a performance from my band, Proof of Concept. Um, and then uh, the next day, 8 a.m. is the VIP uh, Coin Genius networking party or networking breakfast, rather. Um, I will probably have a Bloody Mary with mine. And then uh, then the that rest of the day is going to be kind of the unveiling of Coin Genius University, which is um, the folks that we call professors, like the best 10% in the industry, the folks who understand their sector and can explain it to a five-year-old, right? Um, like Stephen Hawking would say, you're not an expert unless you can explain it to a five-year-old. Um, and so we're not five-year-olds. Our audience goes really fast, really smart folks. Um, and these folks download a lot of information. So everything is recorded. And we also give some like handout materials so you can go Google things and learn and kind of go down the rabbit hole. And Coin Genius University is like organizing all the data from the blockchain sector of folks that have programs like Don Tapscott, who has like an educational platform. On Yavin has an educational platform. On Yavin's also well known for calling out scams. And that's kind of where we're going with this is validating the authenticity of the of the industry. Right. So all of that is a little bit of the Coin Genius Avalanche. That's what we're up to this week. What are you up to this week? How can I help? <laughs> um, you know, you know, with what we're doing. So actually, I'm I'm attending the summit in AI conference that's happening right now. Spark AI. Have you heard about it? Mm. I love them. Please put in a good word for Coin Genius. I definitely want to talk to them. Absolutely. So they're um, they're having their virtual conference all this week. Um, so I'm going to be attending some of those virtual conferences, um, hitting up the, you know, the the networking seminars over there, because one of the places where we're at right now is really trying to find um, people with the experience within the media and entertainment industry that are passionate also about the technology, right? So go ahead. Yeah. Thanks, can I just interrupt you real quick? Yeah. How about, um, how about my girl, Sam Elise, who is uh, spearheading concerts tonight, which is working with folks like Crazy Bones and some of the biggest artists in the industry for blockchain for a blockchain backed philanthropy arm of virtual conferences that can go out to 10 million people. How about any of those people that are involved in all of that? Because I might have a few folks for you. Hey, you know what? If you have them, I'll gladly uh, take a look at them. That sounds awesome. That it's sounds so much fun amazing. to be in this industry, honestly. Like, if you're a nerd, this is where you want to be. Like, this is this is like nerd heaven. It seriously is because the the other thing is there's so many solutions with the blockchain platform. In addition to not even just the solutions, but the avenues that you could take with just one potential solution and the other potential solution. There are so many different tracks that people can take with this technology to try to get these solutions to help consumers. So um, I'm really excited about that. And so, yeah, so that's what we're working on this week is really just trying to find people um, that are super interesting, that love the technology and that are also in the space because the media and entertainment space is pretty archaic. It's pretty outdated. And the moment you hear blockchain, like an executive hears blockchain, because one of our um, team members is, a, is one of the co-founders of MTV, right? Nice. So. The moment you mention the words like blockchain, the first thing that comes into most people's minds are crypto, right? And right. they want to run and away a from tiny, it. Tiny, 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 tiny part of it. That <laughs> happens to be worth like a couple hundred billion dollars, but ignore that part. It's a teeny tiny part of what blockchain could be. Exactly, exactly. And so we're in the business of also educating, which is what Coin Genius is super phenomenal at doing, laying out the groundwork, the, the platforms, this is how things operate, this is the differences between the two. So it, it's really finding those people in the industry that understand the technology and know how to deliver it towards like, you know, the major industry holders like the Disney's and Netflix. But primarily our platform is created is primarily created for creators, people in the industry that have been struggling, one, to connect with others in the entertainment space, but also those that have content and they have a license for it and they just don't know 
where it's at or what's going on with my royalties. You know, it's like it, it, the, the common industry norm now for a creative is in 20 years time for them to examine all of their media content portfolio and then they receive a residual check for like $10. You say, hey, I've been in this industry for like right. 20 years. How is it that I'm receiving this check for like $10? And so the first thing that comes Where'd to the mind- Where'd the rest of it go? Oh, it went to a million other, it went to fee-based predatory infrastructure. It Correct. went, there's so many hands changing. And Correct. sorry to interrupt you, I get so excited, but this is where smart contracts come into play. Yeah. This is where, if you're taking this at a blockchain level, you're probably, and I'm just guessing here, I mean, you can pitch your own company, but I'm just guessing if it's blockchain, here's what's possible with blockchain. Um, it, you would be able to not only track the IP, you'd be able to create a marketplace for your artists to connect. You'd be able to have um, like data persona, like matching, and you'd be able to like create really a, a digital community that's immersive and every little piece of that is trackable. Now, the way that Fortune 500 has been using that data infrastructure is to track people's behavior in order to be able to sell more burgers or sell more whatever to increase conversions, right? So what we do instead with blockchain is you can use those same exact things to track behavior. So what you're already doing in an ecosystem, which then if you're smart enough and know how to do it, it leads to a tokenized economy system, which changes the dynamic for everything. And in 10 years, kids that are you know knee high right now will not settle for anything less than that. So if you're not already pivoting, you're already too late. So right. probably come to Coin Genius and check out what's happening. Um, uh, you're okay. So tell me what you are trying to do in the next 30 days with your brand and how coin genius might be able to help because we go way beyond this event. Like we have an investor network. We, um, are doing all the stuff with G tank and like identifying the data points behind everything. Um, what can we help you with? Are you raising, are you trying to get users? Are you rolling out your product? Do you need testers? Like, how can I help you? You know? All of the above, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so currently right now, we're, we're trying to raise roughly around $2 million so that we can get our product into the hands of our testers. We're located in California, Hollywood, which is the epicenter of the global media economy. And every single time that we pitch this towards creatives, we've spoken to different people at unions, the Screen Actors Guild, the Producers Guild Association, the Writers Guild Association, um, all different types of guilds and we introduce the concept, they tell us we're ready. They are ready because the people that will benefit the most with this platform utilizing this technology are the union members, right? This is a platform that empowers artists to be able to say, hey, here is the data that shows where my content is and therefore, please let me know what's going on with it right now, right? Whereas right. currently the, the, the model is, um, I have to file a lawsuit, which is basically what happens today. File a lawsuit, wait about a year for them to respond. Then when you actually get access to your content, you have to do the math to really figure out where it's at located around the world. And by that time, it's like five years later and you still don't really have a good idea with what's happening. So within the next 30 days, we're raising, we're talking to investors. Um, we're trying to enhance our team. We have this awesome guy who works on at this Ivy League blockchain platform. I can't dis disclose the name of the Ivy League, but I will say it is the number one Ivy League in this country. And so people might be guessing, is that Yale or is that Harvard? Well, I'll just leave it up to the the, the, the consumers out there to figure that out. They so, are. Just go Google it real quick. You'll figure right. it out. Right. <laughs> So we have him working on our entire technology platform. His name is Steven Ettinger. He's super, super awesome, super, super great guy. Our chief technology officer is Isaac Switereski. He's with Expedition Co. He has an outstanding Fortune 100 portfolio of pushing out different types of digital platforms. So he's the one that's going to be putting our, te our technology together um, with an online infrastructure and mobile application. And also we're hoping to bring on different team members. So if you are in the media and entertainment space, you absolutely love this technology, you get it and you understand it, right? Then we invite you to reach on out to us, right? And get in touch with us. My email is QUE at TILFA.org. Reach out to me, say, hey, I'd love to work with you guys. You guys could find me also on LinkedIn, Jean Q, J-E-A-N hyphen Q-U-E, M-D-A-R. 
you'll see me on there and just reach out. And we're always looking to welcome more people onto our platform. I love it. I love it, Jean-Q. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we're actually going to stop recording here. Jean-Q and I are going to talk about how he's going to be involved in the event. And you guys will find out about it uh, when it gets to the website. So stay tuned. And oh, also get ready for a tiny little like crypto Twitter war. Um, we've got a lot of really big names in the industry who have their own codes. And we're doing a little bit of a race to see how many people can get the most signups. Um, so be alert. It's going to be a fun week in crypto. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you guys. Bye.